would have thought we'd be living through another war? War is no fun. I mean, sleepless nights, mar mortars, rockets, explosions, Klimagor mines, kill shones, uh, you name it. And uh, people losing their lives. Uh, it's horrible. Looking at, again, the amount of destruction, and I say, why did it have to be this way? Why do we have to have minefields? Why do we have to have, why do, why do people do these things? And it's important for people to know that we're not fighting the Palestinians, we're fighting a terror group called the Hamas. And if Lebanon opens up to a full-fledged front, we're not fighting the Lebanese, we're fighting a terror group called the Hezbollah. These people are terrorists to everyone around them, including the people that they've uh, in, in, in invaded with their terror. Uh, so we've been able to, along with the Navy, along with other uh, forces, have been able to take over the Gaza port. We are operating all along the beach. It's a beautiful beach there, and it was a beautiful beachfront before terror uh, took root. It's so nice to see how the idea for helping the Gazans with food and water, helping them to move out, helping the Shifa hospital uh, injured to get out, allowing gasoline to, to come into the hospital, making sure the Hamas doesn't get that. And, um, but really in response to the latest you know, deaths, the missiles that have been shot on the northern border, we know that we are gearing up for a real substantial retaliation, which means all every inch of Israel will be under Hezbollah, terror rocket, reign of terror. And we're bracing ourselves for all the potential attacks that could happen uh, on all parts of Israel. Uh, there is a deal that no one's really talking about, but about potentially 80 women and children being released in exchange for Palestinian uh, prisoners, terrorists who are being held uh, in the jails here. And um, when they started this and took some 250 hostages and killed and maimed and murdered and raped and and all that they did on the, on the October 7th, we're seeing that that has really hurt their own people. And, uh, and so I'm looking at what's going on in the world and the response and I, I say, man, look at how people are, are responding. It's like they don't know the truth. What is going on? Look at Veterans Day in the United States. And you see, where, where's all the honor of all the soldiers who've given so much in the United States? Instead, you have, have this craziness. And I just say, you know, I just say Psalms 143, quicken me, O Lord, for your name's sake. Quicken all of us, you know, for your righteousness sake. Bring my soul out of trouble. And, my, and of your mercy, cut off my enemies. Destroy all them that afflict my soul, because I am your servant. Everyone's getting these dog tags now that say October 7th. And, uh, and it really remembers the pain that we're going through as a people right now. Guys, let's, let's stand on the right side of history here because wherever evil is, it'll be crushed. Just like what happened when Hitler arose. And he almost, he, he could have won, but he was taken down because evil will not win. I wanna ask believers around the world, stand up and shine your light right now. Don't hide it under a bushel. Stand up in your churches and your conferences right now more than ever and be a light in the darkness. Be a city set on a hill. Stand with Israel today in this time. Use your social networks. And I want to ask you this. Will you send a video of yourself to us? Will you send it to info at aliyahreturncenter.com, a video of yourself saying, I stand with Israel? Just those few words. I'm looking forward to seeing that video and posting it.